Okay, the platen. Um, when you get the platen, there should be an arm for the platen and a couple of bolts and four washers. This goes together a specific way and there's a reason for it. So these big, very thin washers are some spacers that are required so that you don't uh, end up with problems later on. So those big, thick, well, they're the thin ones actually, big diameter, thin washer go under there as a spacer. And then these are just normal old nuts and bolts. So that goes together like that. And like that. Now this is adjustable. It swings around. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to true it up and uh, true it to your to your uh, other wheels and the grinder. Um, it's a pretty neat little system. But right now, that's your basic assembly. And I'm gonna move this over here and try and show you why it's important and why we use those, those spacers. So uh, that goes in there. If you want it to be square to the machine, you uh, slide it all the way up until it bumps. And now I've got that snug. I'll go and grab my three quarter inch wrench and tighten it up. And now it's square to the machine. So now it slides in and out, it's square to the machine, everything's good. The reason that we use those spacers that we did, let me go find a work rest, is because we need a little bit of a gap. When you've got your uh, work rest in here, if we didn't have that, if we didn't have those thin little washers that I had you put in here, now this would rub on this and you wouldn't be able to slide your, uh, your work rest in and out and get everything dialed in the, the way that uh, you need to. So we're just gonna pretend there's a table on there. It doesn't look like I have one assembled right now. So this wouldn't slide because it would be rubbing on this thing. Those little washers, keep it out of the way. So that's it. That's the reason you do it. And now you can use your, use your rest and get whatever angle you want, adjust it to where it meets up the, the way you want it to, tighten it up. You know, if we had a plate on here and we wanted it on an angle, it's all right there. Um, if you'll notice, I'll shoot a video on the, on the rest later. Um, get this out of the way. There's actually a, a vernier on here. So when, the, when everything's set up right, you can actually control it to within one degree of your angle. And it works all the way up, you know, to uh, over 60 degrees. So you can get a really flat angle on here. And all you got to do to, you can make your own custom work rest by getting some three quarter inch shaft and bolting a plate up onto it. I generally have my, my adjustment wheels, my adjustment handles on this side, but when I ship it, it's more convenient to put them on the other side, so that's where they're at right now. So that's it, there's the platen, there's this thing. Um, during assembly, you'll have to actually mount, the, mount your, your work rest onto this shaft. Pretty self-explanatory, there's a pin and a screw. Um, the pin keeps it from rotating. Right now, if you wanted to adjust it and you started grabbing your table, you could loosen the whole thing up and unscrew it. But with that pin, it keeps that from happening. So when you want to loosen stuff, you just loosen that up, adjust it where you want, tighten it back up. Oh, that's an inconvenient spot. I get to pull that out, rotate it over to the right spot, you know, wherever it is that, that works out for me. And now when I loosen it, I can adjust and everything's golden. Tighten it up. There it is.